Welcome back. I finally got my new mic in the mail, so that's a thing. You may have noticed the mic died at the end of the last episode, so... Yeah, now today... I am gonna go... Make that village, I think. Well, it's not gonna be just today, but, you know, this episode. Well, that mountain's not loading in. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really cool, though. Oh, yeah, I'm so ready to, like, have uh, some, like, buildings just in the side of the mountain, like, little bits of scaffolding and, oh, what are they, what do they, what do they call those when, um, you got, like, a porch, but it's, like, in the air? Is it a porch? I don't know. But I want to have um, some wooden flooring jutting out a little bit and then just kind of like being supported underneath by like those diagonal support beams that go into the side of the mountain. And some of the villagers are going to be up there, some of them are going to be over there. Got to have a massive trading hall probably going that way. I don't know. Oh, there's just like so much mountain here, I'm not really too sure what to look for. Although I do know that um, I'm going to knock this out a little bit and this is going to just turn into an area for like fishermen because that just makes sense. So I'm going to have to build a boat of sorts to make it look authentic. Definitely going to have to light it up, of course. Ooh, what was that? Yeah, this is interesting. A um, lot of gravel. That's nice. Lots of floating bits. Oh, I'm going to have to work on my terraforming skills. This is going to be my first actual building project. I've really only just been doing redstone till now in my uh, in my Minecraft history, which spans over the course of like a couple months, which is not much. Uh, so <laughs> I've really only done any redstone, and if, even of that, I haven't even mastered redstone. Like, I know nothing about pistons or any of that. I just really... I've mastered comparators, and that's about it. Okay, so... Gonna have to flatten this a bit. I might have a little bit of verticality in here, but not not, not that much. That's a little too much. So I'm gonna have to bring, like, some shulker boxes of dirt and stone and wood. Get that all over here. Some glass. And get a shulker box of glass. Ooh, and all the villager holes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna build all the sections before I actually put any villagers in here, because I want to, of course, you know, make sure that it's all lit up and everything. Hmm. Maybe the trading hall should go here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's enough space. Because, what Y level is this going to be at? 88, 87-ish. Definitely going to fill that in. Wow. How high does this go onto the other side? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so fifties. Uh, five thirty, five seventy. Uh, twenty bits. I don't know if that's gonna be enough room for a trading hall because I want to get all thirty-seven books in there. So, hmm. Well. I'll just skip to the next clip when I start moving, doing stuff. So here we are at what is going to become the entrance. I'm going to get a 3x3 three three sp uh, spirally pistol do piston door here once I figure out how pistons work. been uh, messing around with that in my redstone world a little bit. And it's going to open up into this hallway once I figure out how it works and come out here. Ignore the beacon. That will be gone when it, it's done. Um, so, first off, a lot of this area down here is going to be for farmers. There's going to be a lot of farmland down here, maybe some animals here and there. Just kind of spice it up a little bit and zombie. Cool. Over here we're going to have a bit of a mason shop. Um, just gonna cover it, make this very pretty with lots of different types of stone. 
Here is going to be a giant forgery. Maybe I'll put a mini super smelter in here too. And there will be toolsmith, weaponsmith, and armorer. Chilling in there. I'm just going to, you know, clear it out and make a, make a nice little forge. A, a very giant forge. And I want to have it be a little bit functional. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, a lot of this is just going to be farmland and pasture and whatnot. Um, this is going to be the trading hall. I dug all this out by hand. And hello. <sighs> I mean, I put torches in here, you see? So, <laughs> whatever. Uh, <laughs> before I start moving villagers in, I'm going to make sure every square inch of this crap is lit up. Now, on to the next bit. This over here is going to be, uh... <sighs> monastery? For the clerics. Yeah, I don't, I don't... Where, where, where do, where do clerics work? I mean, I know, it, like, there's, like, clerics in terms of religious duties, but they seem a little more alchemist-like. Anyways, um, that's gonna be, this is gonna be really cool. I'm gonna make it, like, a nice smoke room, put a lot of, like, um, fire. <sighs> I can not, Eng I can't, no, it's English today! Ah! Okay, so it's, yeah, clerics. Gonna be lots of, lots of fireplaces underneath, give it a nice little smoke effect, make it look like they're, uh, mad scientists. And over here, uh, we got some, this is gonna be like a market here with all the butchers. They're gonna have their own little stands there, selling all kinds of different meats. And, um, here's gonna be a bit of a pasture. Um, probably gonna open this up a little bit. More sheep. Lots of shepherds in there. They're just probably not that many, like three or four. I mean, pfft. Uh, there's not quite enough space. I got, I wanna go aim for like ten of each type. Then over here, uh... This is the leather worker. So the sheep are going to die. <laughs> they're going to be eaten. And their <laughs> leather is going to be used. Down here I made it. So uh, we can get fishermen. Coming out here. Get a boat. Maybe figure out how to make like cool looking nets off the side of the boat. I think that would be kind of interesting. And then. Over here. Going to come up top. And this is going to be where the cartographers are, because they... And I'm going to make some kind of like giant telescope or something so they can see the stars. And, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, these guys, maybe they'll have little apartments. I think it'd be kind of cool to, um... I'd like to have like a second floor. Maybe I'll, I'll just have some of them down here, and then others... I'll uh, make like a staircase and have like a little flat little patio over top. I think that'd be interesting. But I frankly spent all day on this and just this because I mean I just haven't been brainstorming very well today I guess. Hmm. Time skip. I am proud to introduce the first section of the village. That's gonna have the weapons Smith, the tool man, the armor, whichever words they are. Oh man, I spent like two hours on this. Yo, it was so fun. I This is my first actual building project that I've ever done in Minecraft. And I can't believe how exciting it was. Like, um, I'm pretty good at just randomly throwing in things here and there. So that kind of adds to the detail. I should probably spice up these walls a little bit. But, um, <laughs> woo, this was, this was fun to do. Um, jeez, wow. Uh, I had to watch a Grian video or two. Well, I, I, I mean, I, I kind of, I watched, I watched, I watched some Grian videos before I ever even thought of making this village here. And I just kind of took some of the things I was, that he was talking about, like, here's the arms for the chairs and stuff, you know, a lot of people like when using grindstones they'll be sitting down there's like a little pedal here i should i should have put like stone buttons as like little pedals or something yeah maybe i can still do that 
Yeah, and that would act as, like, that's how you spin the grindstone. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do, get some stone buttons. Uh, okay, so let's add them all on the left. Oh, all on this side, that in that direction. Okay. Oh, oof. Okay, so I guess I can't do that. All right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> stupid. The stupid sign. Okay. Well, <clears throat> let's pretend that didn't happen. Yeah. So that's going to be the um I guess this is the the weaponsmith for the grindstone because you want to sharpen that. Yeah, and then the tools and the armor is going to be down here. Um, these are some of the smithing table blocks. That's the top texture, as you might be able to see. It kind of made like a decent, you know, top there. And then this is a blast furnace. I don't know. I didn't know where to put it, so I was like, eh, I can just go in the floor. Because I got, I got two here next to the tools and the anvils here. And then I got like a nice four in the wall, kind of looking cool. And, um, ooh, what's the light level here? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I lit up the entire area. But, yes, so... Four in the wall there. Oh my gosh, I need to stop doing that. It's like creative mode all over again. Um, yeah. So then there's... I got this is going to be like a mini super smelter, I guess. It'll smelt ores four times as fast. And um, I got, you know, just a little bit of fuel back there. Ah, whatever, I can show it. Yeah, here we go. And this is this just where you put the fuel. And then you could just take the stuff out of the there. It's not that big a deal. I don't need like a single chest for it all to go into. And I just wanted kind of an area that's blocked off and like, ooh, there's more? Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the beds. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do beds. Maybe I won't do beds because it's not like I need them to spawn in iron golems. I'll probably like throw in, when I'm done here, I'll throw in like 30 iron golems manually. It's not that big a deal. So yeah, this is kind of what it looks like on the outside. And wow. Yeah, I thought that was, I thought this spot was cool. Oh man, how does it look from above? Yo, that looks so cool from above. Oh, wow, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I didn't know I could do this kind of thing. But, um, because <laughs> like, you know, a lot of people, like, Minecraft YouTubers and whatnot, they're all like, oh, hey, it, it's its redstone or building. You got one or the other. But, like, hey, I can kind of do both, so that's cool. Um, I'm not fantastic at either, but, yeah, um, this was another green-inspired thing. Um, yeah, I just got some netherrack, boiling water, and these. Everything else, like, kind of just winged it. <laughs> so, I finished the cleric's little hut here. I am um, I'm not as enthusiastic about it as I was about the other one. It just didn't feel I don't know, something's missing here. I think it's because I got all that smoke at the door, but then I can't have any smoke on the uh little infinity hellscape I got going on over here. Um But I did what I could. I got some stalactites, stalagmites. I guess I should have had that going right under the other ones and then it kind of made a convenient spot for uh, the lantern, so that's kind of pretty. Got a whole, like, supposed to be like a shelf of ingredients over here, and um, those pressure plates are definitely acting up. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure how this stuff works. I have a feeling if it's, it's like if you step on it, then it breaks. So maybe? I don't know. It's supposed to look like plates, and it's getting mounted off of the walls and stuff. Kind of wanted, I, I wanted, like, you know, um, Oh, how they have in some apothecaries, where stuff's just kind of hanging down from the wall. That's kind of like what I wanted to do with the vines. Um, but I wanted to do that with the ingredients too. But I, I mean, you can't just make invisible pressure plates, and we don't have that that uh, that plug-in that allows for armor stands to do crazy things. And I don't feel like really learning a whole new system of that, anyways. But I did get the fires going underneath these and I mean as long as you don't climb on the stairs you know you don't really notice that much that uh, there's they're kind of sitting in the air so that's cool especially when it's a block away like this kind of looks like it's actually sitting on a burner of some sort which I think it's I thought I, I thought that was kind of smart um <laughs> cauldrons just made them different water levels uh, got some 
Another brick and fire going underneath. Make it look like it's actually stewing for ingredients and stuff. And hopefully the vines will eventually grow down to, you know, cover the front here and be all pretty like that. I should probably go to bed. Huh. Um, yeah, I just, I wasn't as satisfied with the walls. Like, I mixed in a whole bunch of things. I ended up going to the, uh, <clears throat> to the fortress, the, um, oh, uh, the stronghold. Stronghold was the word. I got the cracked stone bricks and the mossy stone bricks. I think you can make the mossy ones with vines or something. I don't know how that works, but I, that's what I was told. And yeah, I just wanted to make this look like it was a little more alive. Like, I was thinking, like, uh, Radagast Hut from The Hobbit is kind of what was coming to mind. Well, 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 it has been like a week or something since that last clip. I have been killing it with this village. I mean, just every night after work, so it's not like crazy. But, um, I've done a lot more than one district this time. Oh boy, what did I cover? I don't remember what I covered. I know I did that one. That was the one I did first. <clears throat> um, this little pen for the farmers. Um, here are the stone cutters, the masons, I guess. They're gonna have little units. <laughs> I'll probably just cut this out if it, if I did this one already. I don't remember, but I tried to, you know, make it make it pretty and a little bit diverse. And hey, oh, look, they're working on pottery and stuff, and here's a light source that looks pretty. Tried to make glowstone look pretty. Um, <laughs> so, that's that. And now, um, Farmers, I think, is the only one I haven't really done too much yet. I don't know if I can really do anything about the Librarians until I get them in here, and then I can kind of um, cover up a little bit better, and I can like make this just look like a giant library, and maybe I'll have a little villager in the center like with a cool trade or something. Um, now, yeah, so I also got walls around all the villages and everything here has a snow layer of two or three so that mobs cannot spawn so hopefully that should spawn proof all this area up top I did my best to work my way around the entire perimeter so that should be all set and covered yeah so this spider yeah he uh he shouldn't be able to do much yeah, let's see if he comes after me Yeah, I guess he can climb walls. Okay, so spiders are still a threat, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? Um, here are the cartographers. Here's a giant telescope, is the idea. You look look inside uh, look inside here, and um, you see the stars! And it lets them... And then they um, got this map here with a little workbench. This is positioned perfectly so it lights up the whole interior. And this is what is going to be the shopping district. And that is a lot of grass. Hot dang. I mean, I chopped down all the trees, but there's still a lot of grass. I didn't think that would show up on maps. Well, learn something every day, don't you? And I made this a nice little staircase and spawn-proofed all the areas around it. Um, over here... Yeah, so I got the wall. But then I got... Pff, bunch of half slabs covering this and then this is also lit up from these torches here that are hiding around the corner <clears throat> so half slabs will also do the same thing as two snow layers did i did i english that properly anyways i also made sure that this was at least a block and a half high so that mobs could not go over mobs can't do the the corner hop for parkour for some reason but so that'll work to keep them out and I did that all the way around where all the um, stone is. And here's the meat market for all the butchers. Um, got smoke coming out of there. Nice chimneys from all the smokers. Uh, some eggs and pickles. and This is supposed to be meat. Got that idea from B-dubs. <laughs> um, and these pressure plates keep getting pressed, even though I'm not jumping on top of it, I guess... Mobs are spawning in doing that. That's unfortunate. Maybe I need to do something about that. Well, here is a major center of the meat market. Um, you can put stuff on the campfire, and then if you just, like, smack it with a shovel real quick, it'll just stay there permanently. 
<clears throat> even between logouts and reboots. Over here is the shepherd's place, and this is nice and lit up because I wanted to make an area where the sheep could kind of climb on the wall here. So like this, and then they shouldn't jump down two blocks or more, so hopefully they're safer here. If not, they're just sheep, whatever. Um, and then, yeah, they get to climb up over here. Everything's lit up or half slabbed. And then here's the workstation. I didn't... This is probably my least, uh... The worst build, <laughs> right there. I don't know how much I like that, but... Um... I couldn't really think of what else to do. Okay, and up here I have the Fletchers. So they can't spawn on stairs, I don't believe. Can't spawn on the snow. Um, you might have heard that piston right there. We'll get to that in a sec. Uh, this is all lit up, or snowed, or half slabbed. I think most of this is half slabbed. Um, <clears throat> now over here, got a little Fletcher hut. Couple bits of it for uh, target practice. And then um, I just tried to make this look like, oh, it's a bunch of walls. I need to put something in the item frames to make it pretty. So here's some redstone. I have all this set up to a hopper clock that will power this dispenser right here. And what is going to be happening is uh, that circuit kind of sends a one tick pulse going out into all this. Couple of delay here. This pulls the pistons back and allows these to fire really quick. So it's going to be nice and hidden, but it also kind of acts like it's target practice, you see. So <laughs> when you come up here, the illusion is that this is just a stone wall, and they're all, all the Fletchers are performing target practice up there. That's the general idea. Now, that's that for uh, that section, that, that, that. Now, um, hmm, what else have I not shown? Oh, I haven't shown uh, the leather workers. I'm probably going to get, like, a horse pinned to here or something. And here's the guys uh, just kind of stripping the leather, making it nice and uh, whatever the word's called. Well done. And then this is them turning it into armor. So this is their seats to do all that. And, of course, the cauldrons. The cauldron was a stupid idea for that. They should have made, like, some kind of tanning rack or something. Here's the dock. I, uh, lit the crap out over there, and then, um, half slabs and walls up top. So hopefully this is mob-proof, except for drowned, of course. I can't really do much about that. But there's a couple of ships here. These are the fishermen with the barrels. And here's their fishing net. <laughs> I just kind of winged it. This is my own idea. I didn't really know what to do. And then, uh... The spruce wood versus the oak wood to kind of give the illusion of the waves are splashing and making the wood wet, and it gets darker because of that. And here's some drawbridges so the boats are allowed to sail away. Now over here, <clears throat> this fishing net's pulled up because these uh, grindstones are really the spools that uh, you use this lever to like flick it in and out. <laughs> This building project's been pretty fun for me. Um, the sails are kind of mediocre. This is like a really mediocre boat, but this is my first building project, so what do you want? So that's that. I'm just going to turn this area into a farming district, and then after I get all the dudes in, this is going to be the trading hall, which will have... I have 37 slots for all 37 enchantments. And I guess I'll do it in alphabetical order, because, I mean, trying to organize it by the type is, like, whether it applies to a sword or a helmet. It's, not only is it less intuitive, but there's repeats. So, yeah, I'll do that. And then what I'm probably going to do is install inside this wall a kind of villager breeder. And then the entrance will be right here, because that's the best spot for it. Well, well, well. 
It has been well over a week since that last clip, and sadly, this server has been kind of dead. Um, so, <laughs> I'm hoping that changes soon. Uh, most of the other people I'm playing with on the server, they're in school, and the semester just started up, so, you know, they're focused on that. And I've been kind of focused on getting a job. So, like, a new job. I'm not liking where I'm at now, so I'm working on that, and... Yeah, anyways, this is now the shopping district. I'm the only one who's really done anything. But I wanted to show the new village that I made in the shopping district here. So, made a nice little pathway here because that's over there and this is over here. I just wanted to make it obvious for anyone passing by. And screw that. Okay. <laughs> Skip the staircase. Too bad I can't backwards long jump. So this is the entrance. Ring the doorbell for assistance. And then, uh, two to three diamonds per entry, okay. Yeah. That's a beautiful door, isn't it? And then these plates would open the door from this side, but I made it so that the diamonds drop out over there. You get, uh, you get some time. So I'll make this all cinematic and be quiet.
Oops. Seems like all my uh, Fletchers died off. Looks like I'm going to have to double check the spawn proofing in this section. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> That's functioning though. So for just a fun point of reference, here is the seed put in a brand new world. That's where the portal's coming from, of course. Right there is my Red Bull can, and over here we get the entrance to the village. I obviously chopped down all the trees. <laughs> I needed a lot of wood. A lot of wood. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, the staircase is over here, here's the entrance, there's the dude going in through the door. Yeah, this is what it looked like beforehand. There actually was a little bit of a tiny bit of a cave over there. I just expanded it and I kind of made up all this with the overarching bits. And I mostly kept this the same. I wanted to make it some kind of a statue, but I couldn't think of it, what to do. Lava, and then I of course cleared all this out, made it pretty. This cave was actually here. This is where the clerics are. And that was actually there. And then I kind of thought this a nice valley. So figured some shepherds there. And then I wanted to populate it with a bunch of sheep coming up at the walls. But as you saw, there was just that one water sheep. Then um, up top, got some stuff. I definitely uh, made this a bit less snowy. <laughs> and I got rid of that because it was just kind of weird. Then dudes up here, kind of filled that in the stair with the staircase, and the boat's out there. Yeah, so this this was a fun project, but it did take forever, and I did get rid of those two floating blocks, which are always weird. 
and I spent so much time spawn proofing every single corner like all the stone had a half slab on top of it all the dirt had a couple layers of snow on top of it just to keep the pre to prevent everything from spawning I'll have to double check this area because obviously there were some spawning issues and they some mobs killed off all of my fletches but yeah 10 out of 10 would do again it was fun all in all, this took somewhere of a month to complete, on and off, like, doing hour here, hour there, every day after work, if I wasn't too tired and just wanted to go to bed. Oh, <laughs> oops. That's what I meant to do. Anyways, that'll be it for now. This episode took way too long. Um... I felt like I'm pretty. I'm pretty proud of this. Uh, this little village I got here. This is actually the area where I come and get new villagers. I'm gonna have to restock the Fletchers and up the security over there, and then I'm gonna put in a bunch of iron golems. That's what I'm gonna do to like make sure these guys are all secure. But yeah, I'm. Very proud of this place. Uh, that was a telescope, if I didn't say in another clip. And, yeah, like I said, server's dead, more or less. I'm going to ask the admin if he still cares about the server being up. And if not, I think I will try to take over control of it. I will, like, download it, put it up on my own server, and then maybe I'll just invite some random people who are watching this, just like you. Random people from Reddit or something. Or YouTube or whatever, whoever sees this. Nobody's gonna see this, unless I post it. So, um... Yeah, I'd l I just want this to be active. Because I'd love to play, like, a Hermitcraft-style thing. Like, uh... I mean, yeah, I mean, we all watch Hermitcraft, don't we? It's pretty fun to watch. I can imagine how fun it would be to play. So, I just want to see a little more active activity in the shopping district, and I have a few projects I want to get done, but without other people to play with, there's no motivation to really accomplish that goal, you know? So yeah, I feel like showing this off, and <laughs> if anybody's stuck around for the whole video, you'll hear this message. Hey, and then maybe I... We'll see if I can get other people to join, depending on the response. I mean, if, if you know, you're gonna just go in the comments and call me a shill, then okay. Then I guess I won't do it, but... I think it would be fun to play with other people. And I just want to see what the interest is like. So... Until next time, thanks for watching.